Riley Sheehan, uh, here to talk about Indecision, my upcoming album coming out February the 8th, 2012. It's a little less than two weeks away, it's coming up fast, and so what I wanted to give you guys is a little bit of a preview of the album, kind of going track by track, kind of talking a little bit about what they mean, what they're like, kind of get your minds and, and ears a little prepared for what's coming. I think you guys are really going to like the album. Uh, it's been a long process. It's been a... Uh, about a year's work, um, most of it in the summer and over this Christ past uh, Christmas break. It's kind of all come together and we're in the final stages um, of finishing mastering, finishing duplication, and, and finishing distribution and I can't wait for you guys to get in your hands. Uh, some of you have heard a little bits of it or maybe some of you have even mystically come upon it um, and I've heard it and uh, I've gotten some good feedback so far and it makes me really excited to be able to release it on the 8th. Um, so what, what I'm going to do is kind of walk through each track and talk about uh, a little bit about what they are and, and, uh, and uh, how they came to be on this upcoming record. So if you guys saw it from a little earlier, I posted a track listing. By the way, if you haven't seen it, just if you're here at facebook.com slash Riley Sheehan Music, scroll down, there's a screen cap of my iTunes of the album and its natural habitat or whatever. I thought it would be kind of more fun that way than sort of an official post, but um, you can see the track listing. And uh, you might be wondering, okay, what does this mean? We got like some interludes going on here, and there's a prelude and a post, so what does that actually mean? And uh, without kind of giving too much away, um, basically the album really takes you kind of on this musical and kind of ideological journey. Uh, from basically the, the war and the battle that goes on inside of one's heart and mind and soul trying to decide some of the more important things in life and even some of the more uh, minuscule things in life seem like really big decisions to make in the moment and uh, so what actually happens when you're making a decision uh, what goes on in your heart and your mind and your and uh, and your soul my main goal in having you listen to this music is to take you on an expedition to take you on a journey through my experience with wrestling with tough decisions and ultimately having to make those tough decisions so that's kind of the gist of what the album is and uh, a little bit of uh, a brief overview of how it's structured. All right, so after the prelude, which is, is pretty short, if you saw on the track listing, there's indecision, and uh, this this is really the the thesis of the album um, that the hardest times in life are those at crossroads. The hardest times in life are when you're faced with a tough decision and you you may know what the right choice is, you may know what you need to do, but you're unwilling or unable to do it. And that's basically the dilemma of Indecision as an album. All right, so Take Me Away. Take Me Away is kind of a continuation of, of the original thought in Indecision. Take Me Away says, um, I don't like when I can't decide. That's basically what it says. I don't like when I can't make the decisions I need to make. And I don't like when I'm conflicted on the inside, knowing what I need to do and not doing it. And so it's this conflict. It's wanting to be away from this conflict. It's, it's kind of wanting to, to just kind of um, to soak in escapism and... Uh, kind of wanting to, to close your eyes and close your ears and, and not really have to deal with the tough decisions and that's really the first place usually we come to when we're making a tough decision is is avoiding making it and avoiding even thinking about it and that's really what Take Me Away is about, it's really what the beginning of the record is about, it's about the inner tur turmoil where, where, uh, where you say, I don't really want to think about this, okay, when a heart starts beating, this follows Take Me Away and kind of builds on its thought process, so many of our decisions in life when we find out what we want to do, it's not easy. When you're moving towards the right decision, when you know what you need to do, and you kind of first realize that, those are some of the most painful times. And uh, when a heart starts beating, basically says the truth hurts. And knowing the truth and thinking about the truth and, and uh, knowing what you need to do hurts. A lot of times um, it's stressful. A lot of times it's painful to know what we need to do and to take responsibility for what we need to do. That's basically what when a, when a heart starts beating is about. All right, somewhere. So this follows the first interlude, which is talking about heart, in that where decision is felt emotionally and where indecision is felt emotionally is in the heart. So somewhere is about uh, the emotion of confusion in, uh, in relationships and, and otherwise. It's confusion of not really knowing what's going on or, or having assumptions that about something that were necessarily true or didn't end up being true in the end. And decisions have to be made regarding how we'll react to tough situations in our relationships, tough situations in our, in our lives or with family and friends. And that's kind of building on the original themes at the beginning. All right, Tinted Glasses. This is a song about the struggle of not being noticed. 
and normally as a guy that seems like a stupid thing, guys are supposed to be the initiators, we're gonna just take a little sidetrack there, um, but it's a, it's a tough thing to not be sure they feel the same way or, or not be sure if they want to reciprocate or not be sure um, really how they feel and to kind of feel like you have to wear a disguise or kind of feel like you have to be somebody else to, to be near them and hoping that maybe one day they'll see you as you want them to see you. All right, beside me. This song is really cool. It's really old too, well, relatively old. It's not very old. But I wanted to give a new version of the song. I really like this song. It's a really pretty song. It's kind of a wrap up of um, the past few songs that, okay, there's some dark experiences, relationships, but there's some bright ones too. And there's ones where in, in the midst of conflict, um, we can make decisions to, to, to be faithful or to love and to live and, and to laugh and to enjoy people. And uh, it's really broad, but uh, that's basically what Beside Me is about. And so in the midst of all this indecision, we have a little bit of decision in this song. All right, after the second interlude, which is Mind, um, there's a song called Love You and Let Go. Uh, this song was written after, uh, right before I graduated from high school. And there's, there's a fear in, there's a, in the back of my mind, in the back of my heart, in the back of my soul. Like getting out on my own. Um, once you're outside of the, those walls and out, uh, outside from under that roof, you have to make those decisions for yourself. And some of the toughest decisions, um, in fact, all the tough decisions, uh, we have to make for ourselves. No one can make those for us. And Love You and Let Go is, is a song about the decision that everyone has to make of who are they going to be. It's one of the most deep and dark and meaningful and scary questions anyone can ask. All right, I will wait. This kind of comes uh, kind of near the end of the album, and this is a song just saying, you know what, um, I've had certain relationships, I've had certain things in my life that haven't gone, haven't gone as I originally planned, and, and everyone has that. But being able to say in the midst of all that, I decide that I'm still trusting that there's something out there, that there's someone out there for me. Waiting is a decision, and it may seem like indecision, but to actively wait is to make a decision to wait. Waiting can be one of the most active decisions you can make in your entire life. Okay, remember, right after the last interlude, which is soul, um, basically the concept for this song is that the deepest part of a decision is made in your soul. Remembering what governs my decisions. And uh, personally for me, um, that's my relationship with Christ. And so this song is saying, hey, remember the most important thing to you is this relationship. The most important thing to you is this faith. The most important thing to you is this hope. And so in the midst of all the craziness in your life, in the midst of brokenness, in the midst of failure, in the midst of uh, some successes, but many doubts, there's something to rely on. And everyone, everyone needs something to rely on. The only true thing, the only true, real, solid decision, the only true, real, sturdy ground in my life is that relationship, is that faith. And so that kind of ends the music portion and uh, followed by decision, which is short. Um, it's an answer to indecision. It's not that I have everything figured out at this point. It's not that I've made all my decisions, but I know I can make them. And I'm not forced, uh, and I'm not forcing myself to wait around in apathy and in doubt and in failure and fear. But I can actively make decisions based on what I know to be true. Okay, the last track, I can't tell too much about it, but all I can say is the last weekend I worked on the album, I was, uh, Tyler was helping me, Tyler Yates in the studio, and uh, we decided to do a bonus track. It may actually may have been his idea, and uh, um, it's a little fun track for those of you who know me and have given uh, me a hard time about certain things, and so uh, that track is for you guys. In closing, uh, I can't tell you how much this means to me to have been able to complete this project. And uh, it has been one of the most rewarding uh, and uh, taxing things in my life. I'll be completely honest. This was probably the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, and I couldn't have even begun to do it without your support. Um, for those of you that contributed financially, for those of you that, that, that prayed, for those of you that, uh, that gave of your time to help or, or even just became a fan on Facebook or even or have told people about the album guys uh, you have made this possible and so this is my gift back to you that's what this album life has a lot of doubt in it my life has a lot of darkness in it and uh, I can keep a good face 
and tell you that I don't have struggles. And I can keep a good face and tell you that I don't ever have doubts. And this album's about coping with that, realizing that that happens, realizing that every one of us struggles with that, and then saying, what are we gonna do about it? What decision am I going to make to combat failure, doubt, fear, worry, anxiety in my life? And so, um, guys and girls, y'all are amazing. I hope you enjoy the album. February 8th, look for it on iTunes and Amazon. For those of you that order in Houston, I'll, I'm gonna need to come home and give them to you, obviously. Uh, and so I'll, I'll figure out a date, a, sun, a weekend probably to come home, and for those of you from church at home or, or for family friends, I can get those to you guys when I come home to Houston. If you like the album, tell your friends. Uh, please tell your friends. I don't tour, uh, I, I don't yet. Um, I'm not a performer, my, my, uh, my heart is recording, I love recording. And uh, being in the studio and seeing what happens when one dude gets in the studio, spends a year, what happens? Well, hopefully you'll like it, and I hope you'll share it with other people. Uh, guys, have a blessed evening, and uh, hope you're looking forward to this like I am.